talk about behind the scenes at Hustlers Kung Fu. What y'all in on a few things that are going on? What's happening? What's going on with me? And how I'm doing things a little differently. If this is your first time here, this is Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather. And what we do here is we get money through business development and entrepreneurship. And that's the main theme of this channel. So I need to let you guys know. Hold on a second. I've uh, got two new Facebook groups. So let me go ahead and break this down. And this is why I have two employees. All right. So I have the dominant male Facebook group, which is moderated by Josh Barr. You know, he works for me. And this is where I put the dominant male content and it'll be more training. And also, I have the Hustlers Kung Fu group. Now, I'm not starting these groups like I used to. Because one of the things I used to do was like go hard, put in multiple posts a day. And typically what I'm doing by doing that is setting bad expectations. So we're going to grow these groups over the next year slowly. Uh, there is not going to be a lot of that stuff. It's going to be essentially when I put stuff in the group, it's going to be important. It's going to be salient. It's going to be good stuff. So that's the Hustlers Kung Fu group and the dominant male group, which is now they're professionally moderated. We've got two people in there who are making, you know, keeping the group clean, keeping out the riffraff, keeping out the trash, because we're about to get into a lot of educational concepts. Uh, one of the things that I had to do was slow my roll and begin to flesh out these other channels. You know, Hustlers Kung Fu Wi-Fi Money uh, video will be going up there today. And essentially, I'm slowing it down a little bit and focusing on training people how to make money. You know, there's a lot of people, who, you know, when I say how to make money, how to make livable income. That's the distinction because a lot of people will like, hey, you can make a hundred bucks a day on the internet, and then they go through this convoluted thing that may or may not work. Essentially, we're going to stick to topics and subject matter that works. That makes you that Wi-Fi bread that uh, gets you going because there's a lot of stuff that's going on with the Hustlers Kung Fu brand, which is owned by Mac Daddy Media. So going off in the future, we're going to be working on the podcast that's coming, maybe one or two podcasts that are coming because, you know, we're getting into a lot of content creation. And I should say that a lot of stuff is going on at the influence frame. And, you know, I, I made this decision based upon the numbers. I'm going to post another video on disruptive mail today and see what it does. But the numbers are, I could put a video. Let me show you. I could put a video on the influence frame and it goes further, which means I have people who are not subscribers watching the videos than if I put one on disruptive mail. And let me show you. All right, so let's go into this. And this is really, you know, because this channel isn't restricted 
like the main hustle kung fu channels restricted so i can go here i mean typically they, these videos trend much better i only have 1300 subscribers and these videos are getting 1300 you know they're going up uh this one got 2700 and the thing is the videos aren't dying people can continue to find and this right here this this is what got me my first submissive this this video has 20,000 views in three weeks that is not happening at this channel that's not happening at the disruptive mail so i'm probably going to you know i'm not going to shut disruptive mail down but i'm not going to put a lot of time and effort into the channel when i can get growth over here at the influence frame because like i said i mean the influence frame is monetized uh i can do a lot more so this is where the juice is going to be because it doesn't make sense uh, for me to put videos on disruptive mail and they just really don't go anywhere it, it when that channel got compromised and limited because uh like you know this is what's happening over here and YouTube is playing around with my thumbnails. I put up a good thumbnail. They'll take it down. But I put this video up, how I became a disruptive male. It's 500 views, you know, and this channel has almost 6,000 subscribers. You know, um, the approach it's just not really doing a lot. So there isn't a whole bunch of things. And the return of disruptive mail, I got like 1800. Now, you know, this is before the channel got restricted seven months ago, seven months ago. So I, I will be bringing a lot more stuff to the influence because, you know, I like the way that the influence frame is going. You know, and I, I've, you know, I've not had a video do 20,000 views in three weeks on disruptive mail that that has never happened before so you know essentially the name of the game is to put videos up that spread that keep getting watch time and that's what's happening here at the influence frame and it's also because i have a policy of you know also i'm doing the bdsm thing i'm um, going heavy and hard with that and that that is working and you know i'm staying away from what i call simp culture topics you know there's a lot of simp culture out there simp culture comedy this is comedy based upon your woman acting wild based on you doing masculine stuff like looking at women you're looking at women and your your woman is um tripping that's simp comedy. That's simp culture. So we're getting away from that. But I, I like the way the influence frame is going. I've adjusted the schedule where I released a video in the morning and it's doing much better than releasing the videos at night. So that's happening. And... All right.
Let's see. This should be. All right, uh, it's not taking me to it. That's funny. Hold on a second. Let me. Because there will be some more content coming there very soon. Just letting you guys know what's happening, you know, behind the scenes. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. So I was able to go to the Google machine and find it. So, you know, we're going to do some more stuff here. So I'll be, you know, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Because we got a lot of stuff that's going on. What's up, Josh? The influence frame, maybe. Uh, the DSL Chronicles. Uh, I should tell you one of the things. This is why I started not one, but two new channels. You have seen channels within two years get to a million subscribers because of the changes in the new YouTube algorithm. And older channels are getting penalized. If they don't take off, it's like the algorithm misses them. Well, yeah, uh, essentially, if YouTube would send all of my subscribers notifications when I put up a video, I would be doing great, but they choose not to do that. Uh, the DSL, this is definitely an algorithm that can limit your reach. Tinder has figured this out, creating a profile. Mad matches in the, they all do that, man. Uh, I, I should tell you something that I was doing with Bumble because I was having fantastic success with Bumble because what I would do was literally, uh, I noticed that you got, your profile got juiced for the first week or two. And I actually found this out when I went to uh, Vid Summit. Because when I landed in California, I started getting all these matches. I was like, what the hell? So whenever you change location or you start a new profile, and Bumble has started, like, you can only swipe so many times when you start a new profile. It's very interesting. Uh, no, the, the, the disruptive mail got limited because I had a lot of male haters. And this is why my messaging is much different with the influence frame. Not no MGTOW, not no red pill, not any whining men. Because, you know, there's not going to be any of this simp topic where we're going to sit around and commiserate about female nature when female nature is not, not going to change. What's up, Christian? Yeah, because essentially... Uh, what I figured out with Bumble was every few weeks I would just create a new profile and the matches. I like whoa, and they they they've kind of figured it out because Bumble has photo recognition, so they know when you're creating a new. If you use any of the old photos, if you use new photos, it kind of throws it off a little bit. But man, I was killing it! I was killing it! I was getting mad matches. I was like, whoa. Then they went ahead and messed around with it. The Bayless Code, I had to double check the bell icon for some of the channels I subscribed to. Some of them were not clicked. I think, I, don't, I really don't think clicking the bell does anything to, dis, to disrupt the distribution because uh, like, the chick with the in the van 
she, her she YouTube's just pushing her like crazy. I mean, the girl's got roughly like I think 15 million views on two videos. They're just pushing her. But you know, the YouTube game, because like the influence frame, the influence frame is made like I would say forty thousand dollars. So that's really, really doing well. That's really, really doing well. And what I'm going to do, you know, because one of the things that, that I've noticed with the YouTube channel, like this channel right here is deeply compromised. Uh, like, you know, there's 51 people watching. Like, even when I do live streams, they don't tell people that I'm doing a live stream. And it could be part of, you know, it's the summer, then I'll see someone else do a live stream and they'll get two, three, four hundred video, you know, viewers within regardless of what time of day. So I can't say it's the summer. So one of the things, because I'm going to keep this channel going, but I'm going to focus more so on the newer channels because I get more reach and more reach means new people. Because, you know, I got some of you guys. I love you guys. Y'all y'all go looking for the videos. And I really appreciate that. And that just makes it really a challenge to you know to get information out because if you don't know that you have to look for videos or you have to look for live streams you go completely miss out and that's just how youtube is rolling at the moment so uh one of the things that happened with the influence frame which i had my best video which was age restricted and i actually went ahead and uh challenged that and they took it off. Loyal, determined. Thanks for the five dollars super chat. Um, I actually challenged that, and it they they it's not age restricted anymore because I really didn't I didn't cuss I didn't do anything. It's just a topic, and it is really really moving very well. So let me tell y'all about what went down yesterday, and let me go ahead and explain what is happening all right so to give you guys better information I made some changes and this went down. Everybody that was on the disruptive email list knows. Um, BMD, the BDSM version of how to be a dominant man. And there's going to be a regular version of how to be a dominant man. Because this was my film shoot yesterday. I got a former sub who agreed to appear on camera for a spanking tutorial. And that really went really well. So that's already in the course like if you bought the first version you'll get the bdsm stuff or uh, if you if you're new you're gonna have to pay a little bit more or you can go with the regular version so i've already made those changes and i gotta tell you it took all day getting this done um setting up the stuff uh did it here at my house and it, it came out very nicely uh, it, it was like, OK, because there will be some more BDSM tutorials and that's where they're going to be. They're going to be in the BDSM version, which will have, you know, once again, I'm giving you the real stuff, you know, no censorship, no cartoons, real stuff. And, you know, that's going to cost me a little bit of change because, you know, fortunately, uh, I was able to reconnect with someone and get her to do it. Because typically, whenever you put up an ad for this stuff, women want crazy kind of money. They want like two and three thousand dollars. And I'm like, uh, no, they ain't gonna happen. Because typically, you know, for real porn stars, the average hourly rate is 100 to 150 bucks per day. That's all they make. I mean, I make more money than a porn star, way more money than a porn star. So, and, and also, it's not going to be quote porn per se because it's not going up on uh, porn hub or it's not going up on um you porn it's just going here on this site so that's going to be cool but i i actually did that 
it was very interesting how we got that set up. So, you know, there's a whole bunch of things. Mr. G, thanks for the 10 bucks super chat. The DSLR, I think you're talking about Janelle Elena. Yeah, a lot of people have done case studies on her. First of all, she's cute. She's very attractive. She is very personable and she has great camera presence. And also van life, which I talked about, is a super hot topic. Not a good model. No, she ain't gonna you, you can't duplicate what she did. And you know, she's got Alfredo the snake, very unique. I was surprised that Brian, he might as well have been talking about how to go viral on Instagram as a booty move. Well, they're gonna use her because she's hot right now. And using her name is going to get, you know, more views. So, you know, um, the, the education is about to expand because I'm getting into hiring models and that is an art unto itself because you get some, they, they have uh, particular requirements. And also, let's talk about Craigslist. Craigslist is a hater. I actually tried to use the gig section of Craigslist where you have to pay. You have to pay to place an ad in gigs. You now have to pay to place an ad to sell your car because I tried to sell my car and then place it on Craigslist and it, it wouldn't accept my credit card because apparently my credit card number and name and address is banned in the system because I tried to set up that ad, which got uh, flagged. So, you know, and it's funny because in California, they run the same ads with no problem. But here in Georgia, it's, it's a problem. Uh, BT the creed. I'm glad you brought that up. The market's wide open. Yeah, I'm going to work on a lot of that content and um, many of the things to bring to the table. Yeah, I know Brian. I know Brian. Brian's very interesting. But essentially, like, you know, Janelle... That's not a good model because she's an attractive girl and she is white boy attractive. She is a tiny little thing. She's a hundred pounds. I mean, she's turning on everybody and a uh, video vid IQ did a video talking about, and they, they never mentioned the thing that she's attractive. They never bring that up. Like that has nothing to do with, the reach. She's, a, you know, she's got a beautiful smile. She's got a great personality. You know, you want to hang out with her. They don't talk about that. They just like, well, she hit the YouTube. No, no, no. There's more to it. Uh, I got it on Facebook. Now, this is what's happening to the car. I, people keep asking me if it's available, and I go, yes, it is, and they disappear. Boss life. I'm almost 40 years old. I want to write a book to help 20 year olds get an early jump on better life. Teach them to write your book and start a YouTube channel and start putting your content out. The longer you wait, the worse it's going to get. Uh, will you teach us how to create our own scripts protocols for women? Uh, that's freelancing. I'm going to teach you what I know and you can alter that a little bit because uh, essentially one of the things that I, I'm doing is to make sure this stuff works because I was able to knock down three women in like four days just from Bumble. And part of this is the messaging. 
and I'm going to uh, put that in there. Yeah, I, I got to get that together. I got to work on that because essentially like yesterday, I didn't really do any YouTube stuff because, you know, it was filming, getting her, you know, she had to do makeup and hair and all this other stuff. And, you know, when you do a shoot, just go ahead and set up the whole day for the shoot because it's a different kind of taxing. It's a different kind of methodology. Right. With an unattractive person who isn't who isn't grotesque blows up, then I know there's a fair platform. Yeah. I mean, you know, I've been saying this for years that men like looking at women and women like looking at women. I mean, that that's the Instagram template. You know, if she's a hot chick with a nice body, she could just take pictures of herself over and over again and her channel will grow. That doesn't work for males. Males have to do crazy stuff or be in comedy or be entertainers like uh, Nick Knack, Patty Whack, and Dan. Uh, they just do all of this crazy stuff. And that's why, you know, Nick Knack, Patty Whack, he's got like 1.8. Dan, he's got like 3 million. But Dan dances. And, you know, it, 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 it's a crazy, crazy thing. But we will be getting into a lot of more stuff with the dominant male course because it's it's evolving. What's up, Steve Jameson? So you know there there's a lot of stuff that's going on because uh, I've like I said, I got two new employees. I'm expanding. I'm doing stuff differently. Uh, essentially, for the dominant male course, I'm going to get models or maybe former subs to show you how this stuff works. Because the spanking tutorial, uh, I've looked online, I have not seen anything like it. Because, and this is something else too, with BDSM, there's a lot of people who have blogs, podcasts, who talk about BDSM, and they don't, they're not practitioners. They're not a sub, they're not a dumb. They just go off of, they, they sound good. They know the lingo, but they've never done anything. Never. Just my luck. I don't know what that question has to do with the topic. But, you know, this, this was going on with me. This is behind the scenes because, you know, I'm taking a more long range approach versus just going super, super fast, piling it up. Because the thing is, with Facebook groups, you kind of limit it to what you can do. It ain't like the good old days of Facebook books. Uh, the good old days was like crazy, the things you could do. You could form a Facebook group really quickly, get it full. You know, once again, there's the Hustlers Kung Fu group. Uh, the, most of the information is going to be geared toward how to make money online. And then there's the dominant male group where I will, like I, I put in the video that went today about spanking. It's very interesting when I did that. And uh, the days, you know, tomorrow's video is going to be about how dominant men are chill. You ever notice that it's always the men who are not dominant that like to cause rust, you know, because uh, I had somebody, they put on our channel, this dude doesn't radiate uh, a dominant male. And I go to his channel and he plays video games. So this isn't a person who is constructively building anything. And part of this is many people go off of the status quo. If you're an athlete or you're an actor or something like that, and they see them, you know, that they see that as dominant when they don't realize that if they work within themselves, they can have greater to better results than these guys. You know, it, it's a big issue 
with people not understanding you know how the psychology of being the dominant male the execution the protocols because one of the things that happens is like you get women who want to please you versus you working like a simp a beta male simp to try to please them Uh, Steve James with Nick and Nan, they went to LSU with Odell Beckham. He opened a lot of doors for them. I did not know that. Well, that, that, that one video that I made three weeks ago that has 20,000 views, that sucker is, you know, it's getting a lot of views. Yeah. Cause, uh, the stuff in the course, I'm going to use real women. And it's going to be videotaped. Uh, it, it's it's a different kind of thing because part of it is you know, like uh, this channel here. I'm going to start speaking more about the legal aspects of business. You know how to get your LLC and stuff like that. That does really well because um, you know YouTube. Like uh, like uh, a lot of people on Reddit are complaining. YouTube picks and chooses who they want to push, because you know, you know, I know Daryl Eves and everyone that's like, make better videos, make better videos. And when I take a video and I put some paid traffic on it, and a lot of people start watching the video, I'm like, wait a minute, this is an interruption, and they're watching it. So a big part of this is, I've seen people who completely ignore the algorithm; they blow up. But one of the common things I see is they'll have an anchor. They'll have something. They'll have a big topic like uh, Dave Atarella. He's got the minimalism thing. Uh, Janelle, she's got van life. Van. I mean, this is a huge thing. If you just put in van life, you're going to see a ton of people living in these vans. So. One of the things that is uh, intriguing is, you know, I mean, YouTube's been very good to me. This is where I get all my traffic. This is where I get all my sales. So I can only complain so much because I know that if, you know, YouTube sent everyone that subscribed to my channel a uh, notification when I put a video, I would make more money. And that's where the 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 frustration begins. Folks got about what they assume what dominant is. They expect dominant guys to be out here banging their chest and dragging their knuckles. You ever notice the strongest guy in the gym is one of the most chill Jews in the gym? Uh, the guys who are in the best shape, unless they got are steroids and have roid rage, they're usually very chill. Uh, the big dude, strong dude, the big guy, the, they don't go out messing with people. It's always these um, dudes, these little dudes who are doing this stuff. It is always these little dudes who are starting stuff, who are getting into stuff. It's kind of crazy. And people who use e checks, that's just wild. Oh, yeah, man. I was talking about the van life. I was just talking about, you know, why are people living in vans? Because they don't have the money to live traditionally. Get you a van. Downgrade your lifestyle, have some very low monthly cost of gas. And I, I'm not sleeping in no van. I, I will make the money to live regular. But the van life phenomenon is very much driven by finances. You know, people like saying, like, you know, 
Uh, this this one dude, he lives in his truck. He was able to save eighty five thousand dollars in one year because he lived in his truck and he worked a lot of overtime. Typically, this is money. They're definitely about that money. And that's what they're they're trying to do. But, you know, that's pretty much what I have. You know, if you want to join the Facebook group, it's the Hustlers Kung Fu group. It's the dominant male group. Uh, like I said, you know, we're getting ready to do a lot of training, a lot of uh, content, a great deal of uh, setting stuff up for the future. Because I'm taking a pragmatic, long-term approach. You know, we're not like trying to do this super quick because one of the things I've noticed with Facebook groups is if you grow it over time versus it explodes, it, it does better. Loyal, determined, I'm glad you're talking about YouTube controlling the content. Oh, this, this is, they've been doing that since about 2014 ish is when the big change happened because everyone's channel used to grow very slowly. Then they start messing around and then they had these channels with hyper growth like Peter McKinnon, a million subscribers in a year, Casey Niles, that they came out. Then if you, you've noticed that typically some of these channels that grew very quickly have stalled out and some continue to grow. Oh, YouTube's been up to some. Steve James, love the idea of the dominant male. Of course, many millennials from the crunks are becoming gender fluid. Yeah, that, that's one of the things because uh, there's a, a uh, Zoles I go to and one of the servers, he's a male. He wears nail polish and he has his hair looking. And I'm just looking at because I don't think he's gay. He's just in this. I'm going to do this stuff because it's cool and hip. And he, to me, is just lost. You know, a dominant man does not wear nail polish. And I don't care if Steven Tyler, the rock star wears nail polish. That's something that they've done. But a lot of these guys are uh, quite squirrely. They're sexually ambiguous. Because I remember once I was on military and one of my roommates, he came out to me and he was just like, you know, we're experimenting, you know, how you do in college. And I was like, I don't know anything about that experiment. And I've never sucked a penis in my life. And part of because th this is something else, too. And I, I, I should speak on it on the mail channel, but I'm going to speak on it here. One of the things that I found with the Craigslist protocols was how many transsexuals and gay men wanted to be with a heterosexual normal man they would like I'm, I'm like clearly i'm looking for a woman then they would respond and i'm like i would never respond back with them i would never i would just delete their rep reply but it was just crazy how many of them would try So are shout outs by other more prominent famous YouTubers now more important because of the change in the algorithm? I think that depends upon who you are and who shouts you out. I was watching the video and you started start having LSE, even though you don't know exactly what the business will be because it matures every year or something that sort of. Yeah, that's starting your holding company. You can start your holding company at any time because you're going to have an operating company with that, and your holding company's age is going to matter. Lord, one day it's going to be against the law to be a masculine man. No, man, it ain't going to be against the law. Dang, Steve Jameson. Yes, the trans community loves straight men. It's like a challenge or a badge or honor for them. Like a pimp loves a fresh turnout. Good Lord. I mean, it, it was, you know, I'm probably going to talk about this on the mail channel. 
Because th this was just like, why are you answering this ad? It clearly says I'm looking for a woman. There is no mistake. And that's why I never got, uh, communicated with them or talked to them because I knew that they were up to something. Because I'm like, this is, I'm looking for a woman. And I got very specific. I was like, a, you know, I even started using the term biological woman because many trans women feel that they're women and they, I'm like, oh, oh, they're on Bumble too. And they look very masculine, very masculine. You're like, what the, heck? what is, oh, this is a trans person. It, 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 it's crazy how you would have these things. So, you know, we're, we're going to get into more dominant male training. We're going to get into more um, education. So it's, look out for that. And I will probably uh, tighten up on that holding company situation. Learn this when I worked on Bourbon Street. They compete with each other to see who can get a straight man. That's just nasty, man. You don't want to mess with nobody that still has it. Even, even if they cut it off, it's still the fact that they used to be a man. It's just weird. You better start saying you want an organic woman. You know, I, I will say that the, my, the, 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 my Craigslist protocols work better on Bumble than they did on the current Craigslist because typically I've had a lot of false positives. Someone would respond, they would act with it, and then they would later flake. But, you know, we're, we're getting into a lot more training, a lot more uh, cool stuff. So with that, I will see you guys later. If you want to join the Hustlers Kung Fu group, link should be below. So with that, I'll catch you guys later.